Hey superstars, happy Valentine's Day and welcome back to another Through the Mail autograph video where I doodle a player and bug him for an autograph. Let's stop at Triple Play Vintage and say hi to Cora first. Hey Cora, what'd you get your favorite customer for Valentine's Day? I got John this box of baggy tops. Oh, well, what'd you get me? 89 tops? You sure know the way to my heart. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what kind of goodies are in this pack of 89 tops, shall we? We've got some pecan walnut clusters, Terry Francona, cherry cordial, chocolate covered coconut. Okay, here are our candy dates. See what I did there? I'm hilarious. Let's go with Bobby Valentine, duh. Bobby Valentine. See, you gotta say it like that. It's fun. Bobby Valentine was a late 60s Italian-American pop singing heartthrob, but much like Socrates, he also loved baseball. His playing career lasted from 71 to 78, but his true calling was managing. He managed the Texas Rangers, New York Mets, and Boston Red Sox. In 1995, he was offered a job managing in Japan where he could also perform concerts every night before each game. He couldn't pass up this opportunity. Bobby V was so popular and cool that the Japanese named today's holiday after him. Yeah, not too many people know that Valentine's Day is actually a Japanese holiday, but I made it up and made a YouTube video about it, so now it's 100% true. Bobby Valentine is like a Japanese David Hasselhoff. Pretty soon we're going to import Hasselhoff Day from Germany, just you wait. Bobby V's love songs from the 60s are insanely popular in Japan. I'd play a couple for you, but I obviously don't want to get any copyright strikes. I did draw him here singing one of his great ballads to this umpire though. Anyhow, the ladies in Japan were so enamored with Bobby's charming smile and amorous vocals that the men had to do something to regain their attention. So every February, they started gifting the ladies little cards and chocolates and trinkets. It became such a big deal and eventually the US greeting card industry got wind of this and imported it to the States. And that's how Valentine's Day came to be. So what'd you get me? <laughs> Let's see what we got. I told him to keep the doodle. He sent back the 89 tops and the 2002 tops. That smeared a little, but not too bad. I made another video about how I'm trying to avoid that now, so go check it out. Thanks to Mr. Bobby Valentine, I'm honored to have your signature, and thanks to my friends at Triple Play Vintage. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time. I gotta go buy my wife a Valentine's Day card now.